I'm Shelley Schmidt, and I'm a lung doctor at Spectrum Health. I'm here today at the Grand Rapids Public Museum during their Bodies Revealed exhibition to talk about the lungs. Lungs are, in a lot of ways, like an upside down tree, with the windpipe being the trunk of the tree, branching to the right and left side, branching smaller and smaller out to the leaves of the tree. The branches are responsible for taking air out to the leaves, and then out at the leaves are where the oxygen gets exchanged with the blood. The lungs are very fragile and have an important job to do. And so anything that's inhaled into the lungs has the ability to cause damage. Here at the Bodies Revealed exhibit, we can see evidence of a normal, healthy lungs. In real life, the lungs are pink in appearance, but look whole in this way. And next to it, they actually have an exhibit that shows the branching structure like the tree like we discussed. But as we move over into the second part of the exhibit, we can see evidence of damaged lungs. And so what they have here are evidence of lungs that are, have been damaged by cigarette smoke. Cigarette smoke leaves that dark purple and black pigments in the tissue and causes destruction or disintegration of the lung. So with cigarette smoke over time causes a loss of leaves off the tree, what we call emphysema, and also causes inflammation in, in the branches that we call chronic bronchitis. Recently in the news, we've been hearing a lot about vaping-induced lung injury. When we have a cut on our hand, it gets red and swollen, and we call that inflammation. When someone inhales a heated vapor, like with a vaping device, that's sort of like a cut inside the branches in that it causes that redness and swelling, both in the branches and then out in the leaves of the tree. That inflammation makes the lungs very stiff and hard to take a deep breath and breathe. And all that redness and swelling makes it difficult for the oxygen that you're breathing to wiggle across all that swelling to get to the blood. And so our patients who come in with vaping-induced lung injuries have difficulty breathing, chest pain, cough, and then they can also have very low blood oxygen levels. The lung injury can become so severe that they need life support. And what we've been hearing most recently by one of our local hospitals in Southeast Michigan, an actual lung transplant for a young patient with a vaping-induced injury. At this time, there's been more than 2,000 reported injuries across the nation. We've contributed several of those reports from Spectrum Health with over 40 deaths from vaping-induced lung injury.